Hello, Natroners, and welcome back to VFX with Natron. So today we're still in the middle of the move, so things are still a little wonky here. Uh, I just want to go over that uh, today, or I shouldn't say today, they they updated Natron. We are now in Natron 2.4. For we have a whole, you know, dot fuller, you know, it used to be 2.3. Actually, 2.3.1 in a whole bunch of different variants after that. Um, but now we're at 2.4. And uh, there's been a, some actually some really significant bug squashing that's been done. Uh, they did some modifications to to uh, that I haven't really investigated too far as far as like Shader Toy and some other things. But uh, there's some things that are far more obvious that I thought we would go over that will be easier to talk about and and look at and demonstrate um and and show how it worked in the old version versus the new version uh, because there are certain things particularly with the rotor nodes and with the fact that they added a, a version of ffmpeg so let's pop over into natron and uh here we are we're actually in this is version i believe i'm looking at the yeah we're looking at the old version here and the way I know that we're looking at the old version is actually the UI is ever so slightly different. Um, they uh, will, we'll, let's, I've got a roto up here at this point, but I want to point out that uh, one of the things that you can, the easiest ways to tell whether you're in 2.4 versus uh, 2.3 uh, uh, version um, is that you can look over here at the, or excuse me, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, is that you if you look over here you you can see that these they've the spacing in the old one the uh the tabs and so forth or not they're very claustrophobic there's a lot of uh all the things are very very close together it's not very org it's not laid out in a very uh nice way it looks very amateur and uh, um you know having a nice clean UI can really uh, improve one's desire to work in a piece of software it doesn't make you feel you know is overwhelmed to bar things are just too close to you you know you don't blend stuff together and whatnot anyway um but before we switch over to uh 2.4 we're going to first I want to I want to uh this is a roto animation because they changed the roadway roto um roto splines which this is uh interpolate and uh this is one of the bigger features that i'm really happy about and uh, i think they've made it so you can switch between uh the new basically before the way it currently or it used to work in this version is uh splines the points when they move from point from one keyframe to another they would move in a linear f with linear motion and so uh, I'm going to scrub through this very slowly and we can watch what happens. So here's a keyframe. We're at a keyframe, key, keyframe 51. And we can see that this, these points, these two points here are going to reverse. And so as we go, we can see and we watch and oh, yes. And uh, you can see that these two points also reverse. They're going to basically I rotate them around. But when they get close to the next keyframe, we can see these two just reversed altogether. But more importantly, as we approach frame 61 right here, this point here is going to shift direction. So watch what happens here. It's basically going almost straight up until it gets to the top here. And then it just suddenly at frame 61 starts moving to the right. You, we can see that it just goes straight to the right and then it just stops and likewise if we go back up over here we can if we look at this point here not only is it stationary right up to this point but then it just starts moving with no easing whatsoever right over to frame 71 and then it starts moving in another direction so that is the way it used to be that's why it, it's it's worked for natron since forever uh, but that's not the way that nuke works and that most programs work um so um that's an important one and uh, there's one other thing i want to do which is to talk about um they've updated the um use of uh of ffmpeg and uh, more this which means we've um we we have more features they've added more to the documentation i'm not going to go into that because 
Um, there's a lot. But um, I have a, 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 one of the more exciting features is um, we've always been able to import Cineform, but we have not been able to use Cineform RAW, which is the RAW was uh, made uh, open source uh, several years back. Um, Cineform RAW was one of the very first uh, compressed RAW formats. Uh, it was created by GoPro. This was made long before Red came out with Red RAW. Um, and it wasn't, it's not necessarily the best RAW out there, but uh, it is a type of RAW and has a bit more dynamic range. It has a lot of other things. It doesn't have ISO adjustments and things like that. We really never could do that type of stuff inside of Natron anyway. But what it does mean is we do get the flexibility of having a higher or having a higher color depths uh, of the the or higher bit depths uh, associated with it. So anyway, um, I could didn't have I don't have a piece of Cineform ROM myself. So I actually downloaded this one. This is just one I found on the web or uh, uh, just happened to be one. So I'm going to just drop this in here and we can see that. Oh, it's given us a read error. Uh oh, what's going on? Because this is our old version of Natron and Natron doesn't know how Natron 3.0 or 2.3 doesn't know how to deal with Cineform RAW. So now that we've established that this is these are the things that have changed, we're going to pop over into na the new one and let's first look at the interface. Um, the interface we can see that there's now the interface. One of the nice things is is that the 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 X's no longer are these have the circles around them all the time, and there's there's like spacing off to the sides on the each of the uh, on all the letters and so forth we can see up here it's got a lot more breathing room on the side so it reads a lot easier it's easier on the eyes it's cleaner i'm not positive yet i haven't you know i only have a limited amount of time um i haven't checked to make sure uh that uh, whether they've fixed the interface issues with the spacing on on um with uh some of the user user defined controls but I would hope they did. Don't know, but this is this is the first thing. So the user interface is a little cleaner, a lot, a little bit easier to read. Um, so that that's a nice thing. Um, doesn't didn't really affect the nodes. We can see that the nodes are still a little bit. The text, you know, the text is what it is. It'd be kind of nice if we could make the nodes shift in size a little bit or or increase in size. But you know, the uniformity is kind of nice. Anyway. Um, so that was the first thing. Second thing we're going to do is, oh, I'll cut this. This isn't even used in here. That was for another test. Um, so here, here we are in, in the, with the, uh, it's not the exact same animation, but it, it will show us. So we're starting off of frame 55 or 51, excuse me. And as we scrub forward, uh, we can see that these are right, so the side ones did move the same but we're noticing that the the points as they go through we can see that there there's something different happening here we can see that this point these two points will pass one another and as it goes up here watch what happens as we get close to frame 60 61 we can see that this point is slowing down and then it eases and goes shifts into a different direction and we can also see the same thing start to happen over here uh, with this point off to the left we can see it's moving back here at frame 59 it's already moving which means that it, so it eases across it starts easing across into its next position and so that what this is going to do is it's going to make animations a lot smoother and we can see over here as it smiles, this, this goes out and it'll, it'll ease through the edge on the side here. We can see that it eases. It doesn't just go out and right here. It slows. We can see it's curving slowly in and then, and then up to the last position. Whereas if we go back to the other, let's, uh, whoops, let's pop over to rotor paint and let's just scrub through that one more time so that we can see how it used to work so we can see it, it moves this point moved linearly it's just moving up and then this point here goes up and then it just shifts to it or it stops and then these this point here is going to go up and it's going to just stop and then reverse direction look at that it just goes to frame 81 and then goes in the opposite direction this is the new one if we go to 81 
we can see that it eases nicely smooth so this will help in, in some ways however i am going to say that this is not always the wanted behavior either um nuke tends to only have this as an option and i'll tell you right now as nice as this can be for a lot of organic looking animations and so forth and organic movements um there are times that one wants to have uh, linear movement to the to it and there was talk it about making this so that it can work uh, in either linear or in curve or with smooth and uh, honestly I would love it if they made it so that it works both ways I thought they had said that they were going to try to but I could not figure out uh, if they had actually done it all the things I tried actually caused Natron to crash so we're not going to go into those because that would be bad the last thing that we're really going to talk to talk about is of course the fact that the cineform so i'm going to drag the same file that gave us through the error a minute ago in here and lo and behold look at this this is a cineform raw file i didn't make this myself because again i don't have cine anything that makes cineform raw but this is a cineform raw file um and uh I'm also going to say that it is there's more with the updates to FFmpeg it should also improve some exporting and potentially other importing options for Natron um so but this is exciting because this is it opens up another uh, another um format if people have old GoPros that uh, shoot in Cineform raw um they will, they can now use Cineform Raw. Plus, there's actually Cineform Raw converters for a whole lot of software. Um, long before uh, Cinema DNG uh, came out and Red Raw and so forth, um, so Cineform Raw was sort of the, the way that you got sort of the beginnings of Raw control. And Cineform Raw, there are some programs that um, did allow some ISO adjustments with it. But it wasn't every, it was one of the problems is it didn't work with a sidecar which can store that type of information. Um, so um, unlike B-Roll, which we, there's a B-Roll reader now for Natron, the B-Roll reader in Natron allows you to actually adjust your ISO. You can literally go into it and pick your ISO and change everything just like real raw. So we actually have re a true raw format inside of Natron, which is one of the most exciting things. But still, you can do... Uh, this is a higher bit depth uh, file, or could be. I don't know if this particular one is. Um, but the other thing... Uh, oh, yes, another thing that changed. Um, the file formats themselves. We'll notice... Oh, it's not in this one. Um, if we go to... If we put a right node... or um, Let's see, I think... Or, or, if we do a right node, you'll notice that now the uh, the extension is off to the right. And whereas in the old one, if we did it, let's go we're gonna we'll just select this and do a write node as if we were going to write that and we can see that the file type used to be down here on the left which made a, this caused a lot of confusion what happened is a lot of people thought this was the spot where you wanted to type your file name so you would go and type your file name here and it didn't work where this is actually really not is it i'm actually not positive i think this is just a is supposed to be the the where the full the extension is I really don't know what that spot is for uh in that but um it's oh okay that's the filter must be the filter okay so this would be the filter so that should be like star dot you know when we don't have the filter actually showing here so it would be star dot star would show the show everything anyway um but it doesn't say uh it doesn't say filter over here so this is one of the other changes that was made um is that now it it, the extension is off to the right and it actually says filter down here this is a much improved user interface it makes it a lot easier to work with um and if people weren't aware this is also where you should choose between uh you know rendering out a file or a sequence i do not know if they've improved the the rendering of files to to you know different formats whether mpeg uh, in those the um the inter frame uh codex dependent um versus the intra uh intra meaning that it's all self-contained frame information which is what most of the stuff works with the stuff that works in natron have to be intra frame whereas inter frame means that there's keyframes where a color palette's kept on the different frame and then it's you know used 
reciprocated throughout and it causes endless problems. I don't think they've fixed that, but well, I didn't think they've done that because that's complicated stuff. And anyway, um, so that kind of pretty much covers it. This is a really exciting update. Um, I think there's more. I haven't gone into into too many things. Again, this is a um, this is some really. It's a nice update to have. Uh, I think there might be more that I'm missing. Um, there were definitely some bug squashes I was looking at. Um, uh, mostly, actually, this there are things re regarding. Um, there used to be uh, apparently. There were some issues with um, with file formats. If you had cloned nodes, um, well, that this one got me because I don't remember ever having this problem, but apparently there it was. Um, that if you had a clone node and you saved it out in certain circumstances, the clone node would break. And also, if you, for example, one of the things you can do here is this, there's this minimize button here up in the upper, in the top, where you, if you had something in your user interface, we can, you know, minimize it. We can view only the properties that have changed, but we can also minimize a, 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 a property. And the, there were a couple, apparently, uh, there's a couple, um, yeah, a couple uh, uh, nodes that, uh, when you modify certain things, uh, they keep stacking and adding to the end of a long list of stuff, and it just makes the lo node longer and longer and longer. And so people have been minimizing it. I haven't used this particular node myself. Um, but now uh, the, the way people dealt with it in the past is they would minimize it, and the problem is if you have multiple nodes and they it would reload, it would reload open, non-minimized, and that was a problem so now if you save it in a minimized state it will open in a minimized state um that could lead to other issues i won't say it won't but um haven't tested it we'll see uh, we're gonna assume natron's all no bugs in natron natron's like good old power bill we don't make mistakes no 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 we don't have to shoot well we don't shoot natron no wouldn't do that. Wouldn't dream of shooting Nitron with a cannon. Not at all. Not me. All right. So, anyway. Um. So. So. Um. That's pretty much it. It's a very short episode today. Oh, I've got Mr. Thomas Morley is in is in the, is in the live stream. Hello, Mr. Thomas Morley. Happy Saturday to you as well um this is a short episode very short episode because again i'm in the process of, of moving and um things believe it or not this is really hacked together I, I got rid of my my window masks and so forth and realized things might weren't i was really worried we i was having little lights from my window coming down across my my set anyway things are all getting getting moved and spice isn't utter chaos but Thanks for watching. Keep on natroning. Wait a minute.